Jagdish Malkani joins in to talk about trade. Jagdish, afternoon. It's been sluggish, but it isn't giving up for the market. Yeah, yeah. I would still, the undertone is still very robust. Uh, as you were saying earlier in the show, you know, the uh, inflows are fast and furious. Most of the action is in uh, good quality mid caps. Uh, however, the only caveat I would add is that uh, there is obviously there seems a lot of uh, operator play because quite a few of relatively illiquid stocks. But I have to qualify they're, they're better quality than the normal previous uh, bull runs we've had. Uh, I, I have been whipped up quite fast and furious. So. Uh, it's certainly time to be cautious and not ca get caught up on some of these stories. But overall, the index indices are not going anywhere. Uh, you know, large caps, you, what you lose on the swings, you make on the roundabouts, sector rotation, etc. But mid caps, a lot of action. So Jagdish, in the mid cap space, is Realty one of the pockets which features? Because there have been a lot of deals which have been struck. Yeah, uh, reality, right? You talked yes. about reality? Yes, real estate. Yeah, absolutely. Ever, ever since, especially the Bombay-centric uh, stocks, ever since this absolutely, uh, uh, you know, the, the uh, mind-blowing prices being paid, you know, the last one, uh, well, 200, uh, 200 crores an acre just, you know, uh, uh, takes your breath away. Uh, even these e-auctions that are happening, so uh, suddenly uh, some kind of re-rating happening on some of the stocks, Bombay spe specific, like Bombay Dying, etc., which are sitting on uh, large reality banks. Today, Phoenix, which is a you know quasi-reality, quasi-retail play, has moved. So every day, some yeah, there's uh, lots of action in that space. Mm. What, a, what about shipping, Jagdish? That's the big star today. Yeah, but now I, I, I'm not sure, uh, you know, all the bad news is behind this. I think a lot of this is uh, sector rotation that I talked about, you know, uh, the beaten uh, sectors earlier. It was telecom that made a big move. Reality, as you hinted upon, sugar had its day in the sun. Uh, the last few sessions, now it's shipping. So some of that, but I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, all the bad news is behind, the Baltic index is still beaten, etc. So I would be cautious. Is it only profit booking, which is ailing Idea Cellular today, which is down about 5%? And what's the expectation from Bharti this time around? Well, I, uh, I do believe telecom problems are far from over. This 3G auction has been most unfair to the industry, you know, literally uh, bleeding them dry and, you know, you can't not bid, etc. So, and then some of the global ambitions for companies like uh, Bharti, there's going to be a lot of plowing the field in Africa. So I think uh, telecom is a beggar thy neighbor situation and uh, Yes, the stocks have done well recently, but that's more, as I said, sector rotation. I would still be extremely wary of the sector. Mm. You track sugar, Jagdish. Uh, enough in the recent news flow to start turning bullish on that sector or not quite, you think? Not really. Anecdotally, one is hearing horrendous stories from the sugar companies themselves, particularly the sugar part of the business, not the uh, power and uh, coach they've got hopefully a windfall on ethanol, but sugar is still their mainstay. Even the so-called, I won't call it cartelization, but some kind of price agreement is not holding. Uh, they have, you know, cane arrears to pay, etc. So, yes, you've got a dichotomous situation where you've got overseas prices uh, turning very robust, 19 cents plus on raw uh, white sugar up but what do you do about it it's not that you can it's not a free trade item you can't uh, up and export uh, the item and take advantage of the situation right now the domestic is stuck where it is and there you've got uh, oversupply etc so i don't believe uh, these bullish sounds are uh, justified and until the mythical decontrol etc really happens this sector is in for a rough time Uh, Jagdish, by any chance, you had a look at uh, the midfield industries, IPO and Astosilicates, where the, the way these two have been moving. Pass. No, I don't know anything about it. 
Okay. What about the your call on the entire banking space? SBI is just you know moving higher and higher. It's already hit its new high today as well. It's just it's showing you strength. It's up about two percent. Kotak Mahindra Bank is the other one. You know, which is you know for the past four to five trading sessions, that's been showing you some sort of leadership. Of course, now it's cooled off a bit today, but nevertheless, you know, the entire banking space has looked quite good. I think it's one of the most uh, attractive sectors. Of course, it's uh, run up a lot. The so valuations are a bit of an issue, but uh, both in I prefer private banks to the PSU bank space. Uh, in private banks, of course, uh, notwithstanding the run up, I think uh, there's some very good uh, niche mid cap plays, especially some of the southern ones. Uh, South India Bank is a favorite of mine. uh and uh, uh federal bank there are quite quite a few that come to mind among the larger ones hdfc bank of course is evergreen i think access bank in this market relative to the other ones is giving an opportunity as we speak it's come off it's uh, in the same pedigree as hdfc bank so i think uh, private banks kotak you talked about uh it's come to its uh, sort of sumitomo price kotak also an evergreen in psu banks Uh, I like a, a boring one as far as the stock market is concerned. IDBI Bank, I think, is doing all the right things. It's got its government infusion of funds. It's raised money overseas. It's going to do some more. And I think uh, uh, price to book is uh, close to one is to one. I like that a whole lot. State Bank again, excellent, but you know, a little too expensive for my liking. But and Bank of Baroda is another very good one. So lot of, banks is very very interesting space. Jagdish, from where we stand right now, aside from where we can go, how deep would you say the downside risk for the market is? Because earnings have not exactly led to any great upgrade for the market or any valuation up move for the market. Well, to be perfectly honest, the market, as a lot of uh, our fraternity have been reiterating, is, is certainly not. inexpensive it's richly valued there have been some disappointments with the results by and large a mixed bag but uh, you know who's to argue with the trend the money is coming fast and furious uh, both in cash and futures from overseas for various global reasons you know risk appetite etc uh, you know fears of double dip uh, receding india domestic story all the same old stuff but the real truth is it's 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 a lot of money chasing our stocks and in that environment uh, as of now uh, we probably will see new highs before it gets worse Sure. if you, if you had to break it up for the shipping segment which leg of it are, are you most bullish on within the shipping logistics side and the pure ship makers themselves well clearly i think the port uh, you know port business is a great business mundra may be part of what he was talking about uh, and you can see a lot of private equity investments coming into all that and uh, the rig game you know something like aban but of course uh, minus its misfortunes so i think the, those are the the businesses to watch in the infrastructure business